For the first time in history, doctors at Ohio State University managed to get a quadriplegic man to regain some movement after a chip was implanted into his brain. I think this is so cool, and I want to tell you guys how this works exactly, how it went down. So, basically, more or less, the chip reads brain signals, which are uh, interpreted by a computer. It then precisely stimulates his muscles with electricity to restore that movement. So when you have an injury, Joya, uh, you have, an, you have um, some damage done to your spinal cord, what happens is your muscles, your hands, your legs, the rest of your body, it doesn't get that signal from your brain telling you to move. Mm -hmm. um, and so what they've done is they replace that with a computer. So the computer does that work for them and they connected some electrodes to this man's arm. His name is Ian Burkhardt. He's from Ohio. He was 24 years old and a few years back he was injured in a very serious accident. He was jumping into the ocean. Uh, he hit a sand sandbar uh, in the water and he broke his neck and ever since then he's been paralyzed from the elbows down. He was left unable to walk but for the first time by using uh, this, this technique which Scientists have been really trying to perfect for a very long time. They finally got someone to move their arm. This is mm. so cool. And they implanted this chip in his brain. Yeah. It's still a little uh, bulky, the whole way that they go about the whole thing, the technology itself. It's like Matrix style, right? Matrix like style, yeah. In. He has a cord coming out of the chip from the brain. Still, so. I mean, I think this is awesome because we've already seen um, instances where people's brain waves allow like a, like a metal arm to move, right? Exactly. So this is basically just a, the next step in that technology, and you can absolutely see how... You know, I feel like this technology is going to become more sophisticated exponentially. But I also like the fact that he trained his hands by playing like a Guitar Hero style game. Right. I love that that's the way you're like, yeah, man, get your get your fingers limber. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if that's not going to prove, you know, how successful this yeah. operation and this whole procedure was, what is right? Mm -hmm. uh, they were going strictly for the arm. They wanted to see if they can get his hands moving. And apparently it did because the guy did <laughs> very well at Guitar Hero. Yeah. So, you know, this uh, is one person, but I think this study and this procedure uh, specifically really marks a huge turning point in the way that we're going to start to see, you know, research being done in this field. I think this is just the beginning. Uh, I know I said we're in the infancy of this. The guy still has a cable coming out from the chip. It has to be screwed in um, to a port that's coming out of his head. But, but you know, I think, you know, we, we see how quickly things change. I mean, Absolutely. it's only a matter of time before they can integrate all of that technology into the chip itself, which will then, you know, work wirelessly without the work of, you know, all these external exponents. Right. Absolutely. I mean, you think of even just the beginnings of computers. They were massive. Then you have cell phones. I mean, there's there's no reason why even in the next decade or so they can... They can really build upon this, but I think it's awesome because it's, this is going to help people enormously. It will. Uh, 5.6 million people in the U.S. Uh, do suffer from some form of paralysis, so that means that's one in every 50 people mm -hmm. who uh, struggle with problems like this. So this could potentially be huge. It could save a lot of lives. They got this guy playing Guitar Hero. He probably did better than me. Yeah, I broke a few definitely. of my friends' Guitar Hero controllers because that game is hard and I was always terrible at it. But we're going to see where this goes. Like I said, we're still in the infancy, but apparently they got this man to regain some mobility in his arms.